Do you know of a relationship where it only requires 10%? Think about it. Let's talk about the bottom line. Let's talk about the bottom line this morning. I want you to think about it. I want you to put it in the chat area this morning. Good morning, Ramona. I want you to put it in the chat area this morning. I want you to name one relationship where 10% is sufficient. Let's talk about this morning, the bottom line, the bottom line. Good morning, Angela. How are you on this morning? The bottom line is what I want to talk about this morning. What God has dropped this into my spirit this morning to share with you. And that is the bottom line. Now, I remember when I was in Air Force, let me tell you the story before I jump into the text to talk and the takeaway. Uh, when I was in the Air Force, um, I was a uh, lieutenant, young lieutenant. And I was really thinking about getting out. I was really contemplating getting out. Um, it really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. My whole uh, purpose for coming in was to be a chaplain. And, and I didn't have the necessary uh, education at the time to become a chaplain, though I did achieve that goal. But when I came in, I started to get out. Good morning, Anna. How are you on this morning? Hey, when I, when I started to get out, I started looking for jobs. And... Um, and I didn't get out, but uh, in my interviews, this particular interview, the person asked me, do I know how to read financials? Do I know how to read the financials of a business? At, I, at that time, I, I did not. I, that wasn't my major. I wasn't a business major. And he said, you got to know what the bottom line is. Well, since that time, of course, I've learned how to read uh, P&L statements, financial statements, and um all of those uh, financial positions, and I always go to the bottom line. Well, this morning, I want to talk about the bottom line in your relationship with God. The bottom line in your relationship with God. Here's the text to talk and the takeaway. The Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. I want you to think of one relationship that is only requires of you 10%. Anybody came to you with just giving you 10% of themselves, talking about they, they were in a relationship with you, you would dismiss them right away. You would say, hey, I ain't feeling you. Well, that's what we come to God with. And so I want to ask you to do three things with respect to your relationship with God. Let's look at the bottom line. The first thing is love him with your money. Love him with your money. Wherever your treasure is, there is your heart. How much do you love God with your money? Is it just 10%? Is it just 10%? Now, remember now, there's not a relationship you would be involved with at all that you would only accept 10% of them. 10% is the start, not the finish of how you love God with your money. The second thing is this. The second thing is love him with your time. Love him with your time. Let's go back. Name one relationship. One relationship that you would be okay with. Anna, you got a dog named Severin. I think that's his name, Severin of Seven. And if Severin only gave you 10% of the time that you wanted, you would take him to the dog pound and drop him off. He said, no, there's no way. You want more than that. So just like you love him with your money, love him with your time, and 10% is the start of it not the end of it. The third thing is this, love him with your talent. Love him with your talent. In 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, it breaks out all of the gifts that God gives us to use. And at the end, he says this, he says this, he says, now, what did you do with them? Thy good and faithful servant. If you use the little things that I gave you to serve me, then I'm going to reward you accordingly. So I want to ask you this question. I want to raise it again. 
would you stand for to be in any relationship that only required 10% of you? You wouldn't. So don't do that to God. 10% of your money, your talent, your time is the start of the relationship. It's not the end of the relationship. The bottom line is, here it is, Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37. Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's the bottom line. What's the takeaway this morning? Never stop at 10% when it comes to God in anything that you do. Never stop at 10. Go beyond that. Hey, the Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. I'm going to see you Monday morning with more morning, man. I hope you go to church this Sunday. Got a word for you on this Sunday. Don't miss Sunday, whether you're watching or in person. And uh, have a great weekend. Share the manna. Please don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.